Get back in there. Get back in there. Get back in there. Get down. Get down. Oh. Jeez. Hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel. So glad that you stopped by because today I'm going to be showing you all of my tarantulas. <laughs> I've been wanting to do an updated collection tour because the previous one was filmed in November of 2017. It's now April of 2018 and my collection has grown quite a bit. I still currently have everybody that was featured in the November video. Fortunately, knock on wood, there haven't been any incidents with any of my tarantulas. Even the mature male is still kicking. So some of these are going to be reintroduced to you, but I think about half of them are new to my collection since that video. Decided that it would probably be a good idea to start with my slings first because they're probably going to be the most difficult to see. I did try to photograph my entire collection, so if I do have a tarantula that will not come out, I should be able to insert a photograph for a better view. Oh, and one more thing. I ordered some ink pens with my logo on it just for fun. If you leave a comment below and ask me a question for a Q&A, I will just pick one person that left a comment to send one of my pens. I know it's not a lot, but I just thought maybe some of you would like that. So let's get started. Okay, so this is my Ceracopilma rubinitans or rubinitans. It's a Panama red rump is the common name and it's a very skittish, very great appetite. So yeah, very cool to have in my collection. I will not be removing the lid for this one. It is my green bottle blue. And yeah, it has grown quite considerably since purchased. Very cool species to have in any collection. This is my Gramostola porteri or rose hair sling. Obviously too small for gender, but she is my second tarantula that I actually brought into my collection. This is my Brachypelma albopilosum sling number one. Oh, it looks like we might have molted recently. So this is my Brachypelma albopilosum sling number two. And I got these both from the same person at a Show Me Snakes Expo. So they were both from the same sack. All right, this one is my NNC and I really don't think we're gonna get a good view right there. This is the olive form. It was sold to me as the gold form, but somebody brought it to my attention that it is in fact the olive form. This is my Lazadora Parabana from David. Um, thank you again, David, at Eerie Arachnids for this little addition. It has molted, I think, once since we have brought it home. Mm. Yeah, I don't think we're going to be able to see this one, but we can see its awesome burrow. Very intricate. This is the Starbucks container. I did a video on how I made this. Really not much to it, but yeah, I love this enclosure, and it's literally perfect. This is one of my newer additions, my P. Machala. Very beautiful species. The males turn a gorgeous purple color, and the females turn a brown with a little bit of a purplish hue. Who else do we have? And I think this is the last of my slings. And this is my Acanthoscaria Acanthus geniculata sling. Giant uh, Brazilian white knee. So yeah, that is all of my current slings. And now we'll move on to the bigger guys. So this guy is Salem. He is my Grandma Stolo Polkra. And he is one of the stars of this show. Just a fabulous species, really cool. He's very feisty. Um, I know a lot of people say that they are the black lab of tarantula keeping, but he is definitely an exception to that rule. So this is my Brachypelma uh, Vagans. And 
you will not be seeing her because she will not come out. But good news, just in time for this video, I was able to get a good shot of her. This is my Brachypelma albopilosum mature male. He's still doing pretty good, still eating. So yeah, I think he matured about four or five months ago. Great species for sure. Okay, so this is my Hapalopus species Columbia or pumpkin patch. And I picked this up in October. Very cool species. That bum right there is my other Gramostola pulchra. This one is unsexed, but suspected male. My Aphonopelma samani, suspect male. Here is one of my two Aphonopelma calcodes. Currently unsexed, suspect male. And this is my other Aphonopelma calcodes, also unsexed suspect male but I don't know could be female kind of kind of hard to tell and this beauty is my confirmed female Gramostola porteri this beauty is my E. Moranis suspect female and she is the skeleton leg tarantula Although they say these are very aggressive, I have only seen one threat pasture from her and that was when I got her. This is one we are not really going to get a good view of. C. Darlini, suspect female. She has built her web under a leaf, so it is very difficult to see her, but I will insert a photograph. This is my showstopper tarantula, my adult female grandma stole a pulchra piece. Get back in there. Get back in there. Get back in there. Get down. Get down. Oh. This is another beautiful favorite, my teenager. She is a Euthalus species red. And if you ever wondered what my top beginner species is, when I made that video of my top five favorites, I had just picked this girl up. So I included her in it, but I was not as familiar with her yet, and she's my first, first Euthalus species red. So this is my number one top recommended beginner's species. Even if you're not a beginner, you totally need one of these in your collection. This is probably, dare I say, my favorite species. I, it's hard to say, but definitely she is top, one of the top three, I would say, for sure. Just look at her. She is just a beautiful girl, a very curious tarantula. I cannot get enough of her. All right, and this is the last one. This is my Avicularia Avicularia Morph Type 6 confirmed female. Let me see if I can get a little bit better of a shot. Also a very beautiful girl in my collection. She was also a steal. I got her at a great price and I just love her. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. It was really fun to make. I'm going to periodically update you guys um, and do these collection tours every couple months because let's face it, in this hobby we're always bringing in new species. I noticed that we hit 750 subscribers already. Oh my gosh. Thank you so much. Of course, don't forget to leave a question down below. If you want to ask more than one question, that is fine. I will be picking somebody to send my ink pen to. Getting mail is always fun. Definitely don't forget to like this video or dislike this video if you didn't like it. Don't forget to hit subscribe. 
Am I forgetting anything? I don't think so. So yeah, stay tuned. I will have something for you guys uh, coming up as, as usual. There's expos and stuff. So yeah, <laughs> see you guys.